isolation, alienation, a stranger in a strange land, the angst and terror of never belonging, being psychologically and culturally alone, isolated, disconnected, separate. Mahler, the eternal outsider. Mahler, the eternal Jew. Mahler himself said, quote, I am thrice homeless as a Bohemian in Austria, as an Austrian among Germans, as a Jew throughout the world, everywhere an intruder, never welcomed, unquote. Mahler's Jewishness was held against Mahler the man, Mahler the conductor, and Mahler the composer, both during his lifetime and after. Why do we find Mahler's music so unbelievably moving? Glorious, tragic, soul-searing, make us laugh and weep uncontrollably, tear out our hearts and stomp on them moving. So utterly composure-destroying, so in our faces, so modern indeed, incredibly contemporary, here at the onset of the 21st century, 100 years after it was composed? Might I suggest that in its angst, in its uncontrollable extroversion, optimism, and pessimism, in its overwhelming power and often schizophrenic emotional progressions? Well, I would suggest that Mahler's music speaks directly to us today, that in our postmodern technocracy, videocracy, this music is as expressively relevant to us here today, perhaps even more relevant than it was to its original audience back in the late 19th and early 20th centuries.